The sun always rises. Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the League of Draven. We are joined by Golden Dawn, who's going to be playing Thresh for me in the bot lane. We have a Jungle Rudier, top lane Nautilus, and mid lane Yasuo. The League of Draven Championship Series. Aww, yeah. I'm pretty excited to be playing Draven. He's one of my favorite AD carries. I'm not necessarily good at him, but I just freaking love this skin. I love the idea of Draven, and I watch Jordan, aka Hoofspark, aka Viagra Pancakes, play him every now and then. And he is a Draven God, so I'd like to learn how to be one-tenth of the to carry he is one day. So we're going to be against a mid lane Cassiopeia, a top lane Rise, a Varus Alistair bot lane with a Rengar jungle, which means I'm probably going to get my shit kicked in and feed a lot, but hopefully I won't, and hopefully we'll have a nice, fun video. It is, of course, the same day as recording the Sona video. If you haven't watched that, do definitely recommend it, as it was a nice, fun, quickie little support video. And I'm going to be trying to get some recordings busted out here on this lovely Friday for me morning for you guys. Hopefully it's a chill, nice, cool Sunday where you're just hanging out with friends, sipping on some lemonade in this hot Indiana summer heat. Of course, that is A, assuming you're in the United States, B, assuming you're in my state, C, assuming it's summer for you, even if you're on a different, you know, part of the world, etc., etc., yada, yada, yada. But you get my point. And we are both twirling. Hey, yo. I didn't even notice that. Nice, the Thresh Draven Twirl is real. So, we're gonna go ahead and get an axe a spinning for this Udyr pretty soon here. I do love these condenser mic axes, man. Those are the best. I love audio, I love sound. I really do. That always makes me very, very happy to uh, learn more about sound. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and catch that axe and not take Udyr's farm. And we're gonna go ahead and run up to mid lane and just try to get the second axe. I don't think I'm gonna get there. I think I'm too slow. Oh, oh, oh! I doubted myself when I shouldn't have. Because I am a Draven! Oh, look at that sick axe action right there. Hey, oh! Alright, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the game, the video, has officially begun with the spinning. Of this, the ritual axes. As we all know, it is culturally uh, correct to run in like a boss and spin your axes on people in order to officially start a YouTube video on the Rare TV channel here. So, oh, we missed it. No, how, how, how even? I'm not really sure how I missed that, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. But I'll catch both those axes. Go ahead and get our level two. I don't think stand aside is necessarily the right call here. I think I probably should have gone for W instead. But oh, that's unfortunate that hit me, but that's okay. Shit happens. We'll go ahead and catch some more axes. Oh man. I'm just going deep right now with these axes, man. Alright. Draven was an excellent pick this game in every game. Hey oh. I'm having a great time right now. I'm actually not doing all that bad. Now I know I'm gonna jinx it because something terrible is gonna happen to my face, so I'm gonna probably give up first blood. But for right now, for right now, right at this moment, everything is coming up roses. Though I did miss that both of those uh Oh! The axes are real! That was nice. Nice play, Golden. Goldown. A quick little hook. My phone is going off. That's awkward. I'm gonna try and back out. I might have to summon her heal here. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to summon her heal here. But we should be alright. We're just gonna make Alistair go back a little bit. And I'm gonna walk away. That's what happens when I'm trying to pick my phone. Unfortunately, I've just now conceded lane control. So, thank you to whoever felt the need to text me when I had the phone right under the mic. Rip. Myself. Totally my fault. But yeah, that really sucks. We actually had like a lot of lane pressure and then I just kind of blew it for nothing. Shit. Am I dead? Oh! Oh! No! Okay, come on, Golden. Come on, Golden. Yeah, my bad. Damn, I miscounted. I did not consider that Alistair all in there. That's my fault. Well, I told you guys I was going to give up first blood, and sure enough, what did I do? 
I gave up first blood. Oh well. Oh no! It's the execute instead of the kill, unfortunately. That happens, so it's all good. Hopefully Yasuo will be okay here. I think he might be dead. He's probably dead. He's dead. Well, that's unfortunate. So, we caught a whole lot of axes, and I probably actually had some pretty decent stacks. What would that have been? Like, 56? I don't think that's bad for me. So, that kind of sucks. I thought I was actually doing pretty good there, but then I just totally did not consider uh, Alistair damage being a thing. So, that was dumb. And I goofed, but... Oh, well. Hopefully, I can amend these mess-ups, these issues, these failures... If that's what you want to call them. But you know what? It's a luring experience. It's okay. It's all good. We are going to be a okay. We are going to take these minions. Mid million is apparently missing right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and fall back for a quick second. We'll go ahead and max our Q. I'm actually just going to go ahead and re up on the Q here just to keep both of my axes spinning. I did. Oh, no, I didn't drop an axe. Okay, I thought I actually dropped one, but I didn't. So, cool. Oh, he actually went coin. Oh, I thought he had a uh, relic shield. Well, shows I'm paying attention. Cause I straight up thought he had coin. This is a good thing I took that cart. All right, we'll go ahead and grab that gold right there. We'll just try to keep on spinning our axes in relative peace and solidarity. Interesting. I didn't know that uh, Golden was much of a coin thresh guy. I figured he was more of a uh, relic shield thresh kind of guy. It's fine, but personally, as most of you guys know, I am definitely more of a avid uh, relic shield fan. Oh, nice! Actually, stopped stopped the mid headbutt there. A little interesting trade going on right there. Oh man, I walked into it again. Well, I mean, like the upside to him hitting me is he's not hitting the creep wave. Which is good in some respects. Oh man. I stopped doing that. Missing last hits by axing just slightly too early. But Golden certainly had some good hooks this game. No doubt about it. Alright, so we're at 85 stacks now. Let's try not to blow this if we can, Kendall. Let's try to let's try to keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and let the axes fall off just for now, because there's nothing for me to really hit. There's no golems for me to go back to or anything, or Krugs rather, instead of golems, if you will. But uh Yeah, I'm just gonna try to Try to play, try to play it smart here. So if Alistair's running up like that, I'm just gonna see dropping an axe in favor of uh, not getting all in. Quite frankly, nice little hook by Golden there, but that's primarily what I was afraid of. Was that potential little damage play? On the whole, though, I think it was okay. He actually went brutalizer into. Uh, what, tier components? Yeah, interesting. Okay, huh. Well, I'm just gonna keep on catching axes the best I can. Nice. Oh, okay, never mind, they're all up there, Kappa. Are they pursuing? Only kind of. I mean, like, I could have gone up and helped, maybe, but there was a giant wave of CS here, and I really kind of wanted it, so... I don't fully, uh, fully regret just staying. Especially if Rengar actually does come by, because at least then I cleared out a giant-ass wave of minions where they could have just crashed it right onto our tower and potentially killed our asses, so... I think staying was the right call. I gained a lot of farm, closer to BF Sword now, so... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call it okay and not feel bad about it. If it was wrong, then you know so be it. Looks like I am missing some CS here, though. We don't want to be careful with that. We don't want to be missing CS where feasible. Okay, so there's the Rengar play. Uh, we all kind of saw that one coming. Oh, come on! I thought I had that. I really did. I thought I had that. Okay, well, Rengar looks like he's trying to hang out uh, for 
Thresh here, but Golden's no fool. He just forced the Rengar flash. I don't know if Golden had, uh, did Golden flash there? I think Golden might have flashed there. He definitely burned exhaust as well. So I'm actually not sure if that was worth it or not. Maybe it was. I'm not positive. Not quite positive. But, uh, upside, I definitely have enough money for a BF sword at this point. And we still have a fair amount of uh, our passive as well. I think I'm just going to run. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to back. I've got enough for BF sword. I'd like to just go back and get that. Maybe boots as well. Uh, probably not quite enough for boots. Yeah, not quite enough for boots, but that's okay. I just primarily I really want the BF sword. So, slightly awkward back, but it's not that big of a deal. I think I'd rather just do this, quite frankly. So they might drag off that. Uh, Rengar was pretty low. I think he'd have to back in that situation, but maybe not. It's possible. Anyway, Nautilus is doing quite well up top. He's 2-0 now against Arise, which is really good for us. So, you also have her looking like he's in a bit of a trouble here. Yeah, he's going to die to Cassiopeia Poison, most likely. If, if not Rengar. So, Yasuo, he's having some troubles. He's certainly having some troubles. Alright, looks like Golden taking some slight damage here. Now, if he was referring to it being a free tower bot, we weren't really here. I mean, otherwise, obviously, yeah, of course I would have taken the tower, but... We were not here to do so, so I'm presuming that's what he was speaking of. Maybe he was referring to his own top lane, which is also possible. Let's see what Draven's up to. Looks like we're gonna rotate to mid, potentially. I do have my ult, so I could potentially go for a kill on Cassie here. Let's go for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Got it. Nice. Oh, that's so good. I got all those stacks. Oh, that was sick. So we missed the initial shot, but we got the follow back. I was able to call it back just in time. That was pretty sick, dude. I'm going to go ahead and start Drake here. Um, I don't mind taking a couple shots, just because we do have Nautilus and Udyr down here as well. So really no reason to not just go for this Drake. Looks like Nautilus actually wants to go for the uh, Ferris here, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Alistair, pop his ult. We're gonna go in on the rise here. I think I dropped my axe. That is unfortunate. But that's okay. I'm getting kills! I'm getting kills! Hey oh Bob's your uncle, a double kill onto Draven! So it looks like they did get the Drake there, but we got what, like four kills? I mean I'm taking it, man. I'm taking it. Draven is making moves this game, so big kudos to uh Nautilus and Golden for making that happen, man. Nice CC, a Burrows. Didn't really get attacked very much, so I was kind of free to do whatever I want, so... That felt good, man. That felt really good. 3-1-2. and two. Nice feel. A, a good feel moment for the Draven. The piercing arrow will strike my face. Oh god, I missed my E. That's so awkward. I miss my E. That's that's kind of hilarious. Oh well, I do have enough for Infinity Edge, so it's not the end of the world. So it looks like he did go for tier with that uh, Mechie pendant into a pickaxe as well. So Bear's just going for raw damage output. Is he going to go for Infinity Edge? Like just get the Brutalizer into Infinity? I could see that, I guess. That, that could be a thing. I don't know what's going on in all chat, but quite frankly, I don't really care. So I'm just going to keep on focusing on myself and doing my own thing. It's three, two, and two. Certainly not bad. I knew I was gonna give up first blood. I just, I knew it in my bones. I just, I did. I knew it would be. I knew it to be true. But oh, it's coming! Come on, Golden. All right, Golden will force the heal. He will have to flash himself out. If only that other stack could hit. Nope. You get off of my support thresh. Oh my god, he died to Piercing Arrow, and now I feel really bad. Oh shit, Rengar's here. Oh shit. 
might as well get one. I might as well get one. If I if I'm gonna get dived, I'm gonna kill his ass. So Golden setting that play up for me. No regrets dying for that. I will go ahead and sell a ward just because I do want to get boots. I didn't actually even have a chance to really use those wards, but I'll, at the same time, Golden's just been keeping good vision for me to where I really haven't had to. But regardless, we do kill that Varus, show him what is up, and at least get some stacks off of our passive. Uh, obviously, we had just died previously, so... And we also just had two double kills before that, so I guess I didn't really probably get many stacks. It was probably like, I don't know, ten? Maybe, maybe less than that, but... Hey man, gold's gold, so I'm taking it. Not a bad win wall, but will it be enough to save Golden? It looks like it will, and it also looks like Rengar is right here. I do kind of want to go for him, but I, he's got that Ebola slow, so I can't really pursue and engage as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. There is a nice little wave bot, though, that I would like to get. I'm going to go ahead and burn my W really quick just to try and get there before that last minion dies so I can freeze the lane. Nice. Good stuff. Not gonna lose any of these. Oh, I dropped my axe. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna lose any of these to tower, which is the main thing. So let's go ahead and pop our W. Holy shit! Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure I can just bully him. Oh, shit! Okay. My god. Well, we both blew everything we had on each other. And we'll both just kind of walk away. I am low. There is an Alistair. I'm a little scared. Oh, he could kill me. He could actually kill me if I'm not paying attention. I don't think... I don't... Yeah, no. Okay. I don't... Don't agree with this. Don't agree with this. No, Golden! Yeah. Nah. I just don't... I didn't, didn't want to take that. I was really out of mana. I still am really out of mana. So... I just wasn't feeling it. I'm sorry, Golden. I bitched out. My fault, man. I bitched out. Anyway, it looks like they're going to continue trying to go deep. I'm actually just going to focus on getting this creep, to be honest. Get some more stacks of the passive. Looks like we actually will pick up the various kill. So that's good. Drake in 70. I'm going to go ahead and go back. And I could pick up potentially... A uh, brutalizer pretty soon here. Not quite sure what I want to go into next. I might do like something like Phantom Dancer. It might be a little early for Phantom Dancer. I think I want to like second item Phantom Dancer, but I mean, their team's pretty scary. They got some mad CC, so I also might want to consider getting a fast uh, uh, cloak, shroud, whatever the heck it's called. What are you called? Sash. Quicksilver Sash. I'm spacing on the words right there, but you got my point. Maybe. Considering there are multiple things called Cloak and Shroud in this game. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, shit. Okay, well, she will. Ah, uh, no! Fucking Rengar. I wouldn't fight without Nautilus IMO. We need the tank. Yeah, I don't think we should be uh, making those fights. So he's 10 and 2 now, so let's play smart now. So that's really unfortunate. Probably. He's also going to burn me into oblivion. He can practically free shot me, so that's unfortunate. Actually, I was hit, I hit by Cassie early on, but now with all that money, he can practically free shot me more than likely. So that's annoying. Um, I'm sure Dragon probably went down there. I guess it's possible it didn't, but given they were all there... Uh, it's un it's unlikely that's not the case, but regardless, um, we need to just not 4v5. So, I am going to go ahead and take this jungle farm. Um, hopefully Uder won't be too mad about it, given he does have Devour. But, I need, I need gold, man. I need gold. I am Lidraven. I do need Ligold to Lego. We will juke the Verus arrow. I'm not sure we want to take this either, quite frankly. Golden's pretty bloodthirsty this game. 
But, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Now, Nautilus knock up into a Yasuo knock, or Yasuo ultimate, rather, would be pretty sick. Nice little wind wall from Yasuo there. I don't have any axes spinning right now, but that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Arrow's on cooldown. It's only on cooldown for a slight amount of time, though, given it is just on the hole. Really low cooldown, so... I think we should be going for the, I feel like we should be going for these guys, right? Should probably be going probably should have been going for those guys first. So we'll see. Maybe we can make something happen here. Oh, okay. Well, Alistair actually knocks me out of the uh Varus, so that's good. Whoa! That's unfortunate. Looks like Rengar will go down. I will not get an assist, but we're gonna lose our tower as well. Maybe. Nautilus going deep. Uh, I might die here. Yep, okay, I am gonna go down. But I did get an assist, so it could be worse. Oh no, I did get a kill. Okay, I actually got a kill before I died. I hope. Maybe. My passive stacks went down, or adoration rather, went down to zero, so. Passive adoration, whatever you wanna call it. It went down to zero, so hopefully I got that. Um, hmm. We're gonna go to the tower here? Yes, we are. I can get Brutalizer. I think that's what I'm going to do, given we are all AD. And uh, I don't know if they've realized it yet, but they could just be stacking armor. And uh, they'd probably be way better off. But they're actually not stacking armor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the Brutalizer. I don't know if I'll actually finish it into anything anytime soon. But we will pick up the Brute just to get some additional uh, raw damage. U Udyr did do a really good job. I think he took two towers there, because I don't think we actually had even taken uh, the outermost turret originally. Meanwhile, top lane minions are winions, and look at us, another tower. So, that's great. Golden will probably end up dying here. Uh, he will go down, but not without getting two for us. So, nice. Got some bonus gold on the Draven. So, thank you very much to Golden for that. And uh, we will continue our way up the mid lane. Can we take this tower? Probably. Activate our W just so we can go really, really fast. I don't think Drake is up for a couple more minutes. Uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, sure. Varus is dead. I can understand that. I can understand that, so. I'm gonna go right for the tower here. Keep our axes spinning. You have to be a little bit careful. Just on the hole. So, looks like he will smite that down. Oh, the piercing arrow will connect, unfortunately. I should be okay here. Gonna go ahead and just stand aside and run away like a little bitch. Uh, well, that's probably barren for them. I don't really think there's much point in going in deep right there when it's just Draven Thresh. We're probably just going to die, to be completely honest, so... I just don't agree with even going and dying for no reason, essentially. I will go get a red buff instead. Like, dudes, it's gone. There's no point in going up there. there there's literally no point in Golden going up there just to die. They've got Baron. We'll have to concede it. It is what it is, so... This is going to be a rough game. We fed Rengar a lot, um, and that's it's pretty bad, to be honest. It's going to make my life... A little bit more difficult uh, than I would prefer. I did drop an axe there, but that's okay. Okay, looks like we actually lost Yasuo there. Um, that's unfortunate. I hope he's going to come back. Meanwhile, Udyr is split pushing bot pretty hard. Ooh, the nice flash attempt from Golden. Not quite what we needed, but. The heart was there. The heart was there. Oh shit. Okay. Nope. 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 Why did I turn around for that? Why did I turn around for that? That was so dumb. I could have gotten out free. I could have gotten out scot free. I turned around to stand aside and got frozen. Well. Hmm. This is trouble. We might actually lose the game from that disconnect on uh, Yasuo there, unfortunately. 
We're definitely going to lose in him. I don't know if we can do much past that. I will go ahead and pick up a Sash, because I do think I really need one at this point in the game. This Rengar, though. So BM. Alright, we go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Alright, that was good. Looks like we are actually continuing the assault here. Don't know if I agree with that. Oh, I actually got chained up. That's unfortunate. Alright, well, we will get another kill. Bit of a delayed alt from Nautilus there, but a kill's a kill, I suppose. Let's go ahead and max out our W at this point. I'm presuming you do max out Blood Rush in favor of uh, Stand Aside. I could be wrong there, but given the increased attack speed and movement speed, it just seems like it makes sense. But, uh, yeah, man. Bit of a rough go with this 4v5 right now. I'm hoping that our Yasuo didn't just, like, rage quit. I mean, there wasn't much point in it. But the, the downside is now, like, Alistair's building armor, so he's going to be really hard to kill. Uh, Rango's just going full damage build, which actually could benefit us, because Rise is still really far behind. He's going for a Rod of Ages at the 26-minute mark. So, that could actually work for us. All right, Golden, hook in. Golden. Golden. All right. Well, he's actually... Okay, there was... We should have just gone in. I think we... Oh, well, whatever. I mean, Golden's, in a... Golden's idea was get the Drake and get out. Whereas my idea was... You Q in. Yeah, okay. So Uder just now realized what he just did. So that's a little awkward. Uh, I don't think Baron's... There's no way Baron's up already. But let's go ahead. Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. Alright, well, I'm probably dead here. Yep, I'm not gonna burn any summoners. But, uh, that is unfortunate. Well, it looks like we're probably going to lose this game just because of the 4v5, unfortunately. Bit of a bummer. He's been gone for like 10 minutes. Come on, man. Get back in the game. You can do it. Hmm. Well, they're going to try to defend. Nautilus is pretty tanky. He does have his ult, and he has finally dispatched it. He's going to go for a little bit of damage. Can he get a kill? Not quite. Going to throw out the ult. We'll pick up two! Oh, I got slowed. Come on. Come on. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. Come on. Come on. It's just Alistair. Okay, fine, fine. Alright, well, I picked up some kills there, so that's good. I mean, I'm trying, man. I am not giving up this game right now. I'm gonna go as ham as is necessary to try to make this shit happen. It was a nice alt, though. Did manage to get a couple. Oh, shit. What did we lose? Not a base tower, I hope. While I'm farming minions? Did I mess up? Did I, Goober? I hope not. All right, let's go ahead and get back here. Uh, no, okay, we didn't lose a base tower or anything. Probably just an outer tower. Oh, you know what? I think it was top tower because there's a big wave there. That would make sense. But we did get a whole mess of gold from that last engage. So let's go ahead and get a bloodthirster for some raw damage. A bit more defense as well. I think we'll probably finish up Ghostblade next. I should really consider getting a Phantom Dancer at some point, but we'll go ahead and finish up that Ghostblade when given the chance. Looks like Uder could be in a mess of trouble here, but he will have Lantern go ahead and get out. There we go. Good. Now, I did just burn Stand Aside just to hit some minions. Probably wasn't worth it, to be honest. 
But it's not a super long cooldown. But I just gotta be careful now because now I don't have stand aside should they try to engage on me. I do get hit by that piercing arrow, but I can just life steal back up, so not that big of a deal. It will be kind of annoying if they do a piercing arrow though. Especially as they continue to build armor. But uh, right now, no one else except for Alistair is actually building armor, which is a pretty big mistake, to be completely honest. Yo, dude, I can kill you. Quite easily, as a matter of fact. And Rise will go down as well. That could actually be a Baron. That could actually be a Baron. I will have to be careful here. I do have Sash. We gotta watch out for the uh, potential Cassiopeia play. Which is a little bit scary. Let's go ahead and just throw a ward over the wall. I'm gonna go in for the Baron right now. Well, did they just get Baron? No, okay, all right. So Baron will get the kill. I'm pretty sure Uder might actually be able to win that, but yeah, he's gonna wanna peace out because Varus and Ryze are here as well. I don't think Ignite's going to quite kill him. He does have turtle stance. He should be able to man mode through that. Okay, he is alive. Man, if our Varus just come, or uh, Yasuo have just come back, I feel like we could probably actually win this game. Yeah, you need to get out of there, homie. He should be safe, though. So let's go ahead and sell off this last Doran's Blade. There we go, now we have a Ghost Blade. Excellent. But the problem is, like, I'm just getting completely beaten the hell up by Rangar, who is full on damage Yolo Moto, Hydra, Ghost Blade, Infinity Edge, and uh, Warrior Chant. So that's yeah, a little unfortunate. Probably gonna have to go like Guardian Angel, I'm thinking. Most likely. Do they have Baron? No, they don't. They do not have Baron, so. Rylai buff. The Rylai buff is a pretty big deal on uh, Cassiopeia. So we're going to just try and do as much damage as possible here to Baron. I'm not quite sure if we can get it. I'm not super confident about it, but we're going to try. Alright, we will actually pick up the Baron. Damn it! Did not use Quicksilver soon enough. As a result, I will go down. I mean, you can take as much as you want in regards to, like, oh, I got you, but, I mean, it's a 4v5, buddy. And we're still contesting, so the game is probably over at this point, given we are all dead and they do still have Varus. But, uh, you know what? 10, 11, and 9, we certainly tried. Even with the 4v5, I still think we did the best we could. We did have a pretty sick, uh, nice little quad to play. And, oh, they're actually not going to push. Man, this Rengar is like PJ Salt. Tell you what. I'm not sure what he's doing, but thanks, Rise. Well, at least now it's a 4v4, I suppose. If Rise is gone. We'll find out. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just kill off these minions. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Oh shit, okay, he's going really deep. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to help him. Alton 3, come on. Come on. Alright, well, I will get a shutdown. I'll take it, man. I need it where I can get it. Shutdown gold is certainly gonna be helpful. Oh, almost had him. I kind of figured he was going to try and do something like that. And I did remember to actually Quicksilver, but I don't think you can Quicksilver out of knockup. Maybe you can. I don't think so. Let's see. Moves all debuffs. 
I don't know if that works for knockup or not. I could get a guardian angel, but at this point, I don't really know if it's even worth it, to be honest. Yep. But yeah, it would be a lot easier if we had Yasuo. But hey, I mean, you know what? We're contesting him, man. We're in it to win it. I think Penbo is going to be a right call here. That's going to be some pretty sick shred with uh, Ghost Blade as well. Now, with that said, Rengar can still beat the ever-living crap out of me. But, aside from Rengar, why is no one else building armor? That's the only thing I don't understand. Like, we're all AD except for uh, Nautilus. And Nautilus doesn't do a ton of damage, so why not just build armor? I feel like, yep. Well, if I'm going to keep on getting picked off because uh, we're not working together, then we're going to keep on losing team fights. quite frankly. This could be the end of the game. We'll see, but uh... There's only so much I can do against uh, a 22 and 7 Ren guy, man. And you know what? It's whatever. If Rengar's gonna salt, he's gonna salt. That's his own prerogative. But, uh. I mean, Nala. or Rise, rather, pretty much dead. Nope. Sorry, bud. But I cannot allow you to get away. Pretty brazen back by Rise there. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and focus on minions. Looks like Golden's actually going pretty deep here. I'm not quite sure I can make a play, but we can certainly try. Every time. Can we just not fight without not, please? I think that might be the end of the game, to be honest. But, uh... Who knows, man? Maybe Nautilus can hold him off. I doubt it. I do. Um, but he'll try. I mean, he's got all. He's going to go deep on Varus. He will actually pick up the kill. It's going to stop some of their pressure. Nautilus trying to make a play work here, but they do have Ryze coming in, killing off Creep as well. Ryze doesn't do a ton of damage to Tower, but that Super Minion certainly does. All right. Well, we're still not dead. I don't know how. We're still not dead. Just don't run out without not. Stop chasing kills. Draven's making some good Please. I think we could actually, like, honestly win this game if we just stopped cheesing around for random kills that didn't matter and focus exclusively on, like, actually contesting objectives and whatnot. I don't know, man. I feel like we probably could. I also know for a fact that this Yasuo must have just straight up PJ Salt left because it's been like 30 minutes and he still hasn't come back yet. And uh, that's that's not losing your internet. That's just being, you know what? I'm not feeling it. So, which is fine, you know, teach their own, all that good stuff. But it's kind of disappointing because I feel like we probably could actually win this game if given the chance. I'm positive Red Buff is probably gone. I will actually check to see if he cleared it fully because he might not have. Okay, he did clear it fully, but it's worth checking that just in case. Baron and 50. Last stand. Shocks better interview me after this. Makes sense. I can agree with that. Looks like Uder is probably going to die here. I'm going to stick with Nautilus because Nautilus could actually keep me alive against Rengar. It's unfortunate I forgot to get that pink trinket ward. Could have helped. Draven's making some good map movements. Okay. Looks like we will go ahead and secure Udir with the team here. I'm going to go ahead and make the call to just stick together for the most part. Ah, uh, such BS. I need a defensive item really bad. Because unfortunately a scimitar or sash not going to help me against getting two shot. <laughs> but, hey man, that's what happens when you feed a Rengar two triple kills for basically no reason. Because we were, we were hand mode this game. We were ham much. Or we were ham. 
But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Not gonna have enough money for Guardian Angel. That should be 5th Dragon? 4th Dragon, okay. It's 4th Dragon. I could just go ahead and alt out this mid lane. Or mid wave, rather. But, uh, yeah, I don't think there's there's much chance we're gonna win this game. I'm gonna go ahead and throw out the Surrender Vote. I think, I think our time has come. And as sad panda as that is, that is okay. So, 14 and 14. And, uh, you know what? We tried. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Certainly had some pretty sick plays despite the 4v5. I appreciate y'all watching like always. I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.